about a year ago I made this tutorial right here and basically all it is is it's just showing how you can create a path and then have an object follow that path now the problem with the method that I used in this tutorial is it doesn't loop basically the frame that it only follows the path one time but I've had uh, several people over the past uh, few months ask me how to go about creating a path but having the object follow that path and then loop along that path. So that's what this tutorial is going to be about. <clears throat> Alright, now <clears throat> I am using Blender version 2.82 so it will be an updated version of the uh, tutorial I'm I just showed you. All right, now just to make it real simple, add curve, and I'm just going to use a noob's circle. That's going to be my path. And what I'm going to do, my middle mouse button is acting up. All right, <clears throat> All right I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to add a sphere, add mesh, and then sphere now I'm going to scale this down scale point one and now I'm I'm gonna first off show how I done the previous um, version and all I essentially did was create what you see here which you know the path can be anything it, it can be you know a squiggly line or whatever but I'm just using a circle now I would select this object since I want the sphere to follow the path first and then I would shift select that object so both of them are selected and then press control P and then choose follow path now you see this line going from the uh, sphere to the um, path that right there indicates the starting point of the uh, path so what I've done, I just press G for grab and then moved it right there and then if I press play it follows the path. Alright. Now whatever, however long it takes to go around that path is set by right here. Now if I select the path and then go right here to the, um, I think that's the curve properties and then go down to path animation it shows 100 frames is how long it'll take to complete that path and so when it gets right here it should be done and if I want it to take longer I go 200 and then it will take twice as long to go around the circle if I want it to go faster I say like 10 and it's gonna go around really really fast and then stop but it doesn't loop it just completes it one time so the question becomes how do you make it loop so I'm just going to press Control Z several times just to go back to the same starting point I was at before. Now instead of selecting both objects, all I'm going to do is select a sphere and then come over here to the constraints tab, add an object constraint and then choose follow path. Now it will bring this up and right here your target your target is the curve so I'm going to click right here and choose noobs circle and it automatically moves the sphere to the starting point on that circle now if I click on follow curve and then if I press play pardon me I forgot I gotta click animate path see it will do the same thing go around it now but it keeps on going around and around and around but like before if I click on the path itself the circle and then click on the path properties down here this controls how long it takes to complete one loop so like if I say uh, 250 it's going to complete one circle in 250 frames. If I put 125, basically it's going to complete the circle 
twice in 250 frames. See what I mean? And if I put it on 10, it'd go around 25 times in 250 frames. But anyway, I hope that is actually useful. It's something that I've never really needed for anything, so I'd never really thought about creating a, a tutorial for it. But again, you apply the modifier or the constraint to the object you want to follow the path, which in this case, it's the sphere. And it's the follow path object constraint. And the target is the path. And then you always click on follow curve and then click animate path. And then that's it. Guess that's it. Later, people.